Okay, a quick video showing how the Van de Graaff generator works. The Van de Graaff generator has a big kind of bulbous head at the top and has this kind of pillar and a base that it stands upon. Um, the base is connected by a wire to something called a wand. This is the wand and the wand is like a small uh, metal sphere. So all of this is made of metal. Um, <clears throat> and what you usually do is as you bring the metal sphere closer you get sort of zappy sparky things kind of jumping across. Um, there's a little bit more detail to it. There's a roller at the bottom, a roller at the top, and there's a, a kind of a latex rubber band at the top, and there's a sort of a little comb thing which is attached to the sphere, and there's another comb thing down the bottom which is usually attached uh, to the roller to the bottom. Okay, so, so what happens uh, as, as this thing turns? Um, so the, the roller might go up there and down there and it's just rotating around and doing its thing um, driven by a motor usually the bottom roller uh, would be something like nylon uh, which, let's see if I get this right, donates uh, electrons really easily so it puts electrons, negatively charged electrons onto the rubber, um, the latex rubber and it's got this comb thing here to, to aid the process um, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how the comb does that but the main point is that the nylon donates electrons, it holds onto electrons a lot weaker than the latex rubber so the latex rubber uh, keeps turning fast and carries these electrons all the way up and then at this point this, this uh, could be a material like Teflon this is what I've heard it explain to me which um, sucks in uh, electrons if I'm getting it right and the comb also at the top aids us. This. this comb is just something that's attached to this metal sphere up the top and um, the electrons all come off onto the sphere and you're left with either a, a neutral or a positive uh, charge on the latex rubber as it goes down, probably a positive charge. So when it comes down that positive charge gets filled up again with, with negative um, electrons down the bottom and ultimately you have this static electricity, a whole lot of um, positive charges building up uh, on the top, uh, sorry negative charges building up on the top so if you were to draw electric field lines coming out from it the electric field lines would all have lines pointing towards it because it's the direction that a positive test charge would go and when you bring uh, this wand close enough, if it gets close enough um, the voltage between, the potential energy difference between the wand which the wand I should say is attached to the bottom and the bottom, because you're taking electrons off, it becomes positively charged and since it's attached to the bottom it becomes positively charged um, and um, so, so you're going to have a more concentrated electric field around where the wand is um, and when it gets close enough um, you'll go, it'll, it'll do a nice uh, uh, zap across and um, electrons will be transferred onto the wand um, and the charge will be temporarily balanced out until the um, rotating uh, uh, latex can draw more electrons off and that's the Van de Graaff generator, lots of fun